Have you ever struggled to choose the right option for running Django in a production environment? In this tutorial we will review the key options and commands for running Django, we will explore which one suits your project best, and how to choose the optimal configuration based on your server's hardware. Typically, we run Django using Python ManagePy run server, and it's fine for debugging in dev environments. But for a production load, this server isn't up to the task. It's single-threaded, blocking, and unoptimized for handling real users' traffic. That's where more powerful tools like Unicorn and Uvicorn should be used. They are robust production-grade servers, based on WSGI and ASGI standards. Before we get into the commands and flags, let's first clarify the difference. Unicorn is a WSGI server perfect for synchronous Django apps. Uvicorn is an ASGI server, built for asynchronous Django apps, including apps that use async views, middlewares, or Django channels. If you are not using any async features in Django, Unicorn is your go-to choice. But if your app relies on WebSockets, async APIs, or background event loops, Uvicorn is a better option. Let's take a closer look at Unicorn. The basic command to launch a Django project with Unicorn is Unicorn your project name dot WSGI colon application. However, that's just the starting point. Let's build a more production ready command by adding some more important flags. First, let's add the workers flag, which defines the number of worker processes used to handle requests. Then we include the threads option to allocate multiple threads per worker. At this point the command is looking solid, but we can refine it further by considering the nature of your application. Is it CPU bound, memory, I.O. bound or async? In CPU bound applications your app spends most of its time performing computations. By default, synchronous worker sync with multiple processes scaled to your CPU core count is usually a good choice. In memory I.O. bound synchronous applications, your app relies heavily on memory and experiences I.O. wait, e.g. waiting on external APIs or databases but doesn't require full async support. Then the G-thread worker is ideal. In asynchronous applications, you are building an async Django app using async views, Django channels or WebSockets. You will need a worker that natively supports asynchronous code. In this case, use Uvicorn worker from the Uvicorn ASGI server. Alright, now that we have covered the basics. Sync – ideal for default single-threaded CPU-focused apps. Gthread – great for synchronous apps with heavy I.O. Memory-focused. Uvicorn worker – required for async Django apps. Let's move forward and add a few more important options. Bind specifies the interface and port that app should listen on. For example, bind 000 8000 allows connection from any IP on port 8000. Timeout defines how long in seconds Unicorn will wait before forcefully killing a worker that becomes unresponsive. For example, timeout 30 means any silent worker will be terminated after 30 seconds. This applies only to synchronous workers, like Sync and Gthread. Graceful timeout. Set the time in seconds. Workers have to finish processing requests after a graceful restart signal is received. It ensures in-flight requests are handled properly before the worker shut down. Max request and max request jitter. In combination, those options are used to prevent memory leaks. Max request set the maximum number of requests a worker will handle before being restarted. Max request jitter adds a random variation to the restart interval, ensuring not all workers restart simultaneously. This is what well-optimized production-ready Unicorn command looks like, tuned for performance, stability, and memory efficiency with 4 workers, 4 threads, gthread workers listening to the port 8000, with timeout in 30 seconds, graceful timeout 30, max request 1000, and jitter 100. When we run it, we can see that 4 processes started, 
as we specified for workers. Now let's move on to UVCorn, the ASGI server for async apps. To run a Django project with UVCorn, you can start with basic command UVCorn my site dot ASGI colon application. However, there are a few useful options worth adding to optimize performance and flexibility. Loop. Set the event loop implementation. Available options are Afto, Asyncio, or UV Loop. For best performance, it's recommended to use UV Loop. Workers specifies the number of worker processes, just like in Unicorn. For async workloads, a small number of workers, e.g. 2, 4, is often sufficient depending on the hardware. HTTP and WS. These options let you define the HTTP and WebSocket protocol implementations. The defaults are usually fine, unless you have specific requirements. Let's try to run it with full command and see how it works. And as we can see, our server launched with four workers. But there's a catch. While Uvicorn is great for async performance, it lacks many of the process management features that Unicorn provides, such as timeouts, max request, restarts, graceful shutdown, etc. To take advantage of Unicorn advanced process management while running an ASGI async application, you can use Uvicorn workers with Unicorn WSGI server and point it to your ASGI app. Instead of running Uvicorn directly, you simply run Unicorn my project.asgi application. This approach combines the best of both worlds. Unicorn robust process and worker management and Uvicorn's high performance async server capabilities for handling async views, Django channels and websockets. It's the recommended way to deploy async Django applications in production. Now, how do you know how many workers or threads to set? For Junicorn, a recommended quantity of workers is 2 times your CPU cores plus 1. For threads, you can use 4 if your app does a lot of I.O. In my case, I can use 33 workers with 4 threads each. For Uvicorn, it handles many requests with fewer workers. Thanks to async I.O., one worker per CPU core is usually enough. Based on this, I can run Uvicorn with 16 workers. Regarding memory usage, to calculate it, you need to use this formula. Each worker takes from 100 to 200 megabytes of memory, multiply it by the number of workers plus threads. If we do it on my Junicorn setup with 33 workers and 4 threads in each, we'll get 5 gig of memory needed. And for Uvicorn, it will be just two and a half. Still unsure what suits your app best? Here is all you need to know about them. Sync Django app, use Junicorn with Sync or Gthread workers. Hybrid, Sync plus Async, use Junicorn with Uvicorn workers. Fully Async app, e.g. using WebSockets or Async views, use Uvicorn directly. Thanks for watching and see you soon!